Hey guys, Harry Wilmington here. And today I wanna to talk about why it is that dating gurus go so hard on guys and why we're constantly telling them that everything they're doing is wrong. And I'm going over this because I got a comment from a guy that is complaining about just that. The fact that all these gurus are always talking about what the guy's doing wrong, never what the girl's doing wrong, and why is that a thing? And so I wanna talk about that because I wanna address some thoughts in here that maybe, maybe I haven't gone over before that might be a bit more helpful in helping this guy in particular better understand why it is I do what I do. As always, this show is brought to you by Get Girls Academy, my exclusive program designed to help you attract, date, and keep the women you want. As a member, you'll gain access to proven strategies, insider tips, and bi-monthly group coaching sessions where we tackle your biggest questions live. Go to harrywilmington.com to learn more and join today. So I did a video recently called, uh, Can You Spot the Five Mistakes That This Guy Made? And so I went over a video where this guy was trying to go out with this girl and then it ended up not working out over time. And through that video, as we went back through his story, I was pointing out the five things that he did that caused this woman to lose interest. And so this guy left a comment on that video. And his comment was, uh, being a man times five, those are the five mistakes, laugh my butt off. He says, I mess with Harry, appreciate it, but, man, but, but men are so sick of dating gurus saying everything that men are doing wrong. We literally can't do anything. Men aren't allowed to have any personality or any quirks. That's why every man on the Pop the Balloon shows acts like a uh, nonchalant statue because literally anything he does will get him rejected. The problem is acting like women are the prize when they are not. Men who are of value are the prize because they are more rare. So the key is to become a man of value then you won't have to abide by all these rules set for how men should live, act, and behave. Because if you're hot, women won't care. So I, I thank you for leaving the comment. I do want to go through and address the various things that you mentioned also. To start off with, yes, you're absolutely right. Like dating gurus like me and other guys across the board are typically on these channels where you guys write us and you say, hey, this is the situation that I'm going through with the woman I'm trying to date. What can I do? What am I missing? And so when guys come to me asking me, what is it that's going on with women, in order to better help them, my goal is to try to point out areas of improvement so that way they can take those going forward. Because as I said before in this show, the reality is there are women out there that you could be going after that are highly interested and in saying a comment a certain way, showing up a certain way, acting a certain way could result in them losing interest. And so because this is a guy's channel giving advice to guys, when you guys come to me and ask for advice, I can analyze her all day long till the cows come home, um, but she's not the one asking for advice. And it's not that I don't think that women do not have problems or that at no time has a woman ever not been the problem in her dating situation. I think as Kevin Samuels proved, there are many women that go after the wrong guy or have emotional issues or had bad childhoods growing up that they never got over with. And yeah, there are toxic women out there that are gold diggers that only want you for what you can bring to them. And those women suck, but those aren't the people that I'm coaching. And so if you come to me and say, hey, this woman's doing X, Y, and Z, I can point out, hey, yeah, based on what you're telling me about this girl, she's toxic or she's definitely the issue, I wouldn't chase her anymore. I've had guys come in here and ask me like, hey, like this girl's, you know, she's got an ex in the background, what do you think? And my response is, don't date her. Like across the board, she shouldn't be doing that. And so if she is, you should not be going after her because she's still stuck on the ex. Like if you guys are coming to me with problems that, in, that I'm looking at and saying objectively, the woman's the one tripping, that I, that I will say that. But the problem is that a lot of times when guys come to me, the, the ways in which they're presenting their stories and the ways that, I, that they're being told to me, it gives me the same feeling that I had back when I was a bad dater. So when guys come to me and say things like, well, you know, I, the, the texting started off really, really heavy, and then after like four or five dates, it started to slow down, I panicked, so I text her, hey, what's going on, are you okay, and what are we, and then she chased off, I've been through that scenario. I knew in those scenarios, it was me that was messing up, because when I stopped doing that, that didn't happen anymore. So 
I go off of my experience and when I hear guys saying certain things, I already know that more often than not, it's the thing that they were doing that they're unaware of. And so my goal is to bring awareness to guys that may not be aware that there are certain things that they can do that will even turn off highly interested women. Now, to your point, I will say, the part that you said here, he said, he said, uh, men who are of value are the prize because they are more rare. So the cues to become a man of value, then you won't have to abide by all these rules women set for how men should live, act and behave, because if you're hot, women won't care. So I will say, I actually agree with his point. I agree that if you are a man of value, if you're up front, if you're hot across the board, women are gonna be looking at you first. And so yeah, get your grooming up, make sure that you have the look at, put together of your style because that's gonna make it a lot easier for women to want to approach you. And if they're chasing you, they can't be replacing you, okay? So he's absolutely right on that point. And then the part where he says like, uh, men on shows like Pop the Balloon, they act very nonchalant and rigid because they're like, if I say the wrong thing, if I do the wrong thing, then girls aren't gonna like me and then they get popped on anyway, right? But this should, but these two things right here that you just mentioned should bring to your attention something very, very important, which is that, yeah, men who are of value are the prize, but those men have to start by thinking that they're the prize and then carrying themselves as the prize. Now, I have seen the Pop the Balloon show, and most of the men that go on there, to your point, they're nervous, they're afraid they're gonna get popped on, but because they're already afraid, they're walking out there in a spirit of fear and they're bringing that energy into the room. So there's a difference between a guy that walks out like, hey, what's up, my name's so-and-so, blah, 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 versus a guy that's like, oh, hey, so um, my name is Steve and uh, I, I work in accounting. And like, if you look, legitimately look at the majority of the men on that show and the kind of energy that they walk into the room with, they are already walking in as if they are defeated. They're projecting out, I feel as though I'm. Uh, this is already a lost cause. I don't know why I showed up, but I'm gonna be here and do my best. And as a result, the women can feel that. And to be fair, on those shows, I don't, this is why I don't like shows like Pop the Balloon or even like The Bachelor and Bachelorette because those are situations that are set up where you have these 10 women there and basically when the guy comes out, subconsciously what's being told to the woman is, you have to choose that guy. And women don't wanna feel like they're being forced to choose a guy. That's why more often than not, women pop on those shows. On top of, for women, it's a different thing where like, let's say, let's say prior to the show, right? They were able to see these guys and just kind of, you know, meet with them in a room where they're just kind of politicking and talking to one another and just getting to know each other. Well then, if the women went out there, they'd already have a little bit of rapport with some of these guys so it would make it a lot easier. Because I've seen the reunion shows where these girls that were just hating on all these guys are talking a little bit more friendlier to them in the uh, follow-up shows. So, but that goes to show that sometimes women just need time to be around you and to experience you in a situation where it's of their own choosing or they were just kind of put into it versus being forced to say, hey, this guy, pick him right now. Like, that's always gonna fail. But in real life, suffice to say that, yeah, if you're walking into parties, if you're walking into networking events or other situations where you have a defeated attitude, then you're walking in saying to women at large, I do not see myself as the prize. I do not see that I am worthy of any girl in here. And if you walk into any place with that kind of energy, then yeah, you're gonna be bound to lose a lot of women. So to your point, if you build yourself up to where you legitimately feel like you are the prize, where you legitimately feel like you are the man, and that it doesn't matter what a girl says or does, you're gonna do your own thing, then women will follow that. I just saw a video today where it was a bunch of women talking about how they were on like dating apps and or they had met guys in person and when they started texting them, these guys were just texting back whatever, asking them to do outrageous things, asking them to come back to their place and whatnot. And these girls were telling the stories like, oh, and then he said this thing and I was just so appalled, but yeah, I still ended up dating him. Why? Because that I don't give a crap attitude, it signals to women that ultimately, if you don't choose me, that's on you. I don't give a crap about you because I know what I'm worth. And if you don't see that, then sucks to be you, I'll find somebody else. And that energy also tells women, wow, he's not afraid of me because he probably has other options out there to where I'm probably like the last option on his list. 
but I don't wanna be the last option. I wanna fight for that top spot or I wanna see if I can change his mind and make him think that I'm worthy or more worthy to be respected or whatever. But suffice to say, yeah, those guys are walking around like they don't give a crap and they're the prize and this girl, whether she's there or not, is not going to phase him which now means it makes the woman think it's my choice to try to go after this guy and or I have to prove myself to him. And too many guys walk around thinking, well, I need to prove myself to women. I need to be a good little boy and make sure I do everything right so they'll choose me. And so those guys fail with women and then they come to my channel and ask me, hey, why did this girl stop liking me? And I know from my history exactly what they probably did wrong that I'm able to point out. So again, guys are coming to me, asking me on a guy's channel to give them guy advice. If women, I've had women come to me too. I've had women write me where I've answered their questions on this channel and I'll tell them sometimes, hey, this is what, why the guy's acting this way, but also this is what you're doing that's kind of tripping things up, so maybe do this instead. Like ultimately, I'm all about being the type of guy that's going to take self-ownership of what things I can do to make my situation better. If you are a guy that decides I'd rather blame everybody else, you can totally do that, but you can't change that person. You can change how you react to those per people and you can change up how confident you feel about yourself and how you carry yourself in the world to be able to get better results. So hopefully that gives a better explanation of why it is that more often than not, dating gurus that are guys like me online are giving advice and telling guys at large what they're doing wrong. Because the reality is women do their, their fair share wrong too, but at the end of the day, they're feelings based. So I can give you advice based on what I know women are feeling when you're doing certain things and then help you in a way that's going to allow you to not bring that feeling up again in women that's a negative if you get with my drift. So hopefully some of what I said has helped you out. Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Harry Dating Convos. Don't forget to visit harrywilmington.com to download my free ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. And while you're there, if you're ready to take things to the next level with your dating life, check out the Get Girls Academy membership program for exclusive strategies and live coaching. Go to harrywilmington.com to learn more and join today. Lastly, if you've got a question you'd like answered on one of these shows, leave a comment below or write me at harrywilmington at gmail.com. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>